on the channel. There's been a few mods I've done to the car, some new mods I'm gonna do to the car pretty soon, for the next couple of days. Um, the only reason why I haven't been posting with you guys was for the very reason that we switch houses and it was a pain. Um, and the house that you probably see me back out of and do, uh, do car work on for my car, that was the house that I lived in for about 11 to like 11 and a half years. But um, I guess we were renting it this whole time. Like I knew we were renting it. Let me, let me just refer that. So let me rephrase that. So we were, we were renting this whole time. We were supposed to buy the house. It was this whole mismatch thing. I don't know, it was whatever. But now we got a, we got a better house. I'm more comfortable with the new house. I was kind of tired of living in that old house anyway. So it's all good. Um, I'm good again. I'm back again after some struggles that, that we're going through in 2020. Now we're in 2021. Um, I don't got to say anymore, but I got um, some Iridium Racing spark plugs for the car that's one of the mods i got done i don't really consider it a mod because it's something simple that anyone can pretty much do unless you prefer going to a shop and just getting it done because you prefer that's the best way to do it um to each their own i want to do it on my own i do most of the stuff on my car by my own so i got those done um i got a little bit quicker response for the uh out of putting those uh, spark plugs in so it's pretty cool um, second thing around that I'm gonna review um, it's been a while I was gonna make a video on it but I feel like it's better if I just explain what I got now and uh, I'll be showing it in a video pretty soon I just want to explain everything that I got just to give you guys a recap like a refresh of everything so I got a whole new tune and I know I was teasing you guys about telling you guys on uh, me getting a ECU tune and going to an actual dyno place and getting it tuned but the thing is i want to keep this car reliable because i love this car so much and the worst thing i want to do is mess with the ecu start tuning it, and changing the the boost pressure and everything and then and then end up you know maybe swapping the car for something new or or you know maybe just keeping the car for the long run and then maybe getting a second car but um i decided to get another plug and play tune but this time around the other one was uh, about 360 bucks it gave me about, I don't know, I think it was like 40 horsepower and like 50 torque or something like that. So with the new tune, we're looking more towards like 50 horsepower and like 85 pound feet of torque. Um, I haven't dyno that yet, don't hold me to that. I will dyno it, um, but I have seen bigger gains, that's for sure. Bigger gains with the, with the new tune and the spark plugs. There was also another mod that I had on. I removed it because it made my car too jerky. It was weird. It was funky. It was like a, they were called a uh, roar pedal. Pretty much like a pedal commander. It's the same thing. They're all the same thing. All they do is just, you know, boost your pedal, your pedal rate. And just the only thing is that my miles, my, my mileage, my miles per gallon was horrible. I was getting bad. So I'm averaging right now. Let's see. Oh, shoot. So last night I was racing a bit. I'm going to put those video clips in the and the video so you guys are not gonna miss out on any action on this video i'm trying to give you guys a little bit of everything i'm gonna give you guys some footage on the car too and how it's looking how it's standing up how it's withstanding everything so there's that i'm gonna show you guys the racing videos and then as you guys can see so i don't so i don't lie about anything with the new tunes spark plugs and everything and i was beating it on those videos i was i was with a friend of mine um i'm at 21.8 miles per gallon so this is pretty much what I was averaging on the daily when I had the roar pedal. And, and that's like literally just, just cruising the car. It's just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. When you're pressing the pedal with that thing on, it just wants to go constantly, like all day, all, all night, it just constantly just wants to go. And I don't know, I felt like I was just hurting the car because I don't know, it's just too much, too much pressure for the car, I would assume. So I got rid of that. I'm sticking with the new tune I got and the, the new spark plug that I got on right now. I'm loving the way it feels right now. Right now we're sitting on January 4th. It's uh it's a Monday. I'm gonna I'm going to take this car to a shop called uh AZ Muffler and on 35th Ave here in uh here in Phoenix. So what I'm gonna do is install a downpipe that I have. I'm not sure if I went into detail before, but if I didn't, here it goes. I have a uh a custom handmade uh downpipe that I got for the car. And it is catless. 
It's not it's not catted, so I'm literally gonna go catless all the way back. It's gonna be my first time ever going just full catless. And that way I can uh get that get that extra get the extra boost I'm looking for from the turbo because the turbo is right before the cat on my car. So in, in reality, if I remove that, I'm gonna be getting more boost and I'll be getting less lag, you know, all the goods of you know getting an exhaust. So there's that on the works and I, we, I will be making a video on that hopefully um, I get all the process through there or or something uh, I don't know I'll get something in there you gotta worry about that um so yeah uh, I'm gonna show you guys some rolls of the, of the races I got and then I'm gonna show you guys a little tour of the car of how it's withstanding everything and everything and all the things that I've done you know all that stuff so show you guys a tune and all that so stay tuned hope you guys enjoy the video and Hope you guys like the races. <laughs> uh, they're were, they were a little crazy. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Car's a bit dirty. Here's the new tune. Literally just plug and play. I can literally just remove the tune, put another one, LED screen, I can raise the tune number. Right now it's on max. You can also control it through the phone, but whatever, I'll go full in depth with that pretty soon. There's that, new spark plugs, 255s in the front, 225s in the back, same size rims, eight and a half inch by 18. Exhaust. Nothing too much. Everything's still pretty much the same. Tinted tail lights, headlights. The uh, it, it used to be gloss black, but now it's all like matte looking. So it kind of faded out. Painted logo. I did that. And then still the same caps. I need to I need to get these done ASAP. A uh, little sun guards right here. Nothing too fancy. Everything's still the same. And then the tinted daytime runners right here in the front but uh that's pretty much the car if you guys have any questions on anything if you guys are new to the channel just stay posted just ask them ask away on the comment section here's a full-on view of the car right here So yeah, as for the new mods that, that are coming in, I got the uh, ignition coils that are coming in, performance rated. I got those coming in to go alongside with the spark plugs. I should have got them earlier, but I just, I didn't really educate myself on that, on that, uh, on that product, on that performance part right there. So now I got them, they're, in, they're on the way. I also have, let me guys give you guys a little sneak peek real quick, just hold on. Where you at? Where you at? Car's dirty right now. Need to clean the interior. Don't mind the sub. That's whatever. If you're into car audio, that's what's up. Let me know in the comment section if you guys love kicker systems. Got this custom box right here. Let me know in the comment section. Um, we got this cat list. This is not a cat right here. Um, I don't know if I can show you guys the interior. If you guys can see, go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> so this is just straight down this is going to be my down pipe that's going to go onto the car and yeah can't wait to get this on there get more turbo turbo spool more boost you know everything all the goodies that come with a down pipe so that's going to be slapped on in two days got that coming in and yeah and the ignition coils so stay tuned for that it's going to be a lot of content coming soon and then as for the uh, the roll races, you're gonna see them right now in a bit. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, enjoy the action on the rolls. Pretty cool rolls. There's gonna be more coming soon. I got some races lined up. People are gonna test the performance on the Hyundai Elantra. So you know it's all for fun. For those who who feel like I take it too far or uh, if I uh, take it personal or anything like that, none of that is true. I do not take any race personal. You know, there's wins, there's losses. It's a part of racing. It's it's like a gamble. 
just without gambling. I mean, I don't, I don't place bets. I don't do none of that. I just race for fun, and that's how, that's how it should be. It shouldn't be nothing, nothing to be really taken serious of, unless you're a pro driver or unless you go to the drag strip. So, and for now, that's not me yet. Pretty soon, hopefully, I get, I get to go to the drag strip pretty often. You know, meet some people there and just have the same crew. But I haven't really got to that level yet. Um, hopefully, pretty soon I will. And yeah, so enough talking. Like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys love the video. Stay tuned for more content and see you on the next one. Peace. Oh shit!